At the beginning of the film a woman is shown heading to school to teach. Her name was Ling. He is a high school teacher in Singapore. Upon arrival at the parking lot, Ling took out a medicine and injected it in the stomach. The drug is a fertility hormone. And he has been doing that for years because he has not been blessed with a child. Although Chinese lessons made the children there not eager to learn, Ling was still serious about teaching them. When he finished teaching, Ling returned home. There she lived with her husband and father-in-law who was having a stroke. Because Ling had to go to work every day, she hired a nanny to take care of her in-laws. Even so, Ling also continued to take care of her in-laws with affection, before and after returning to work. After that Ling prepared dinner. In the evening, Ling and her in-laws were seen waiting for the arrival of her husband who had recently often come home late at night, or not even home at all. The next day Ling went to the hospital herself to check on her fertility. Then the doctor there said that Ling was now in the period of fertility and asked her to try again with her husband. While going home, he accidentally met one of his students named Wei Lun, who was undergoing treatment. Because then Wei Lun went alone. Ling drove him home in his car. In the middle of the trip, Ling finally found out that Wei Lun lived alone because his parents often went on business trips abroad. When he got out of the car, Wailin had said something that was not pleasant to hear. Ling who heard that just fell silent without saying anything. It turns out that the meaning of the word is, the students in his class who always make noise and are not serious about learning. Every day Ling always injected fertility hormones and the pain she suffered was familiar to her for years. In the classroom, as Ling was staring towards the window, Wailin secretly photographed her from behind. The next day, while Ling was holding a Deuteronomy, he was called by his sister who was waiting for him outside the school. But only for a moment. Ling left the class all his students immediately wandered off. Except for Wailin who was left alone. His younger brother Ling is a durian trader. But because durian fruit often does not sell, he came to borrow money to his brother. And Ling always gave him money in exchange for a bag of durian fruit. Upon Ling's return to the classroom, he was not surprised to see that some of his students were no longer in place. And he continued to teach. A while later, Ling noticed Wailin who was always looking towards the durian fruit, which Ling had brought. Ling, who knew Wailin was hungry, immediately invited him to eat durian fruit together. And it was from that moment that their relationship began to get intimate. In the evening, according to the doctor's recommendation, Ling was seen waiting for her husband's return to make out. But when she returned home, her husband, Andrew, refused the invitation and said that they had been doing it for eight years and had not succeeded. The next day, Ling asked Andrew to take care of his father because their nanny did not come. And he had to go to work. While at the school office, Wailin asked Ling for permission to postpone the exam because he was going to take part in martial arts training. Out of curiosity, Ling came to the training ground and saw Wailin who was very excited in training, and at that time Ling was again reminded of his former youth who was full of enthusiasm without any burden. In the next exam session, only Wailin attended the class. Moments later, Ling gets a call from her nanny-in-law reminding her that her working hours are over. Because at that time Wailun had not completed his exam, Ling was forced to take the student to go home. There Wailin was surprised to see the condition of his father-in-law Ling who, although paralyzed, could still think intelligently. It was evident when the old man helped Wailin with his schoolwork. After that they ate together like a family and the atmosphere was warm with the presence of Wailin. The next day while Ling was injecting hormones, she accidentally fell asleep in the car. A few minutes later, the headmaster woke her up. Seeing Ling's limp and pale condition, the headmaster allowed her to go home. A few days later, Ling returned to the hospital unaccompanied by her husband. Because yesterday Andrew did not want to try, he decided to try IVF with her husband's seeds. But the doctor there suggested that Ling use the latest sperm from Andrew. Her husband is hard to contact, Ling was forced to undergo IVF alone. A few days later, Ling, who was on her way home with Wylan, suddenly received a call from the doctor who told her that the results of the tube baby had failed. Hearing the news, Ling could only remain silent and immediately stop the car. Then play the music loudly, there Ling felt very sad over his bad luck. On the next day, it was time for Wailin to join the race and be watched live by Ling who came with her in-laws. 
In that match, Wylan managed to show a very stunning performance and became the first champion. After the match was over, Ling invited Wylan to celebrate his success by going to eat durian fruit with his in-laws. At home while checking his students' schoolwork, Ling suddenly smiled at the sight of Wylan's name, to the point that he did not realize that the ink had soaked the paper. Since his closeness with Wylan, Ling was again excited about living life. The next day, while Ling was on the road, she accidentally saw her husband alone with a woman. It turns out that her husband's infidelity was long ago. Allegedly because Ling Yang also felt guilty for not being able to give him offspring. After that Ling returned home to take care of her in-laws. Their Ling could not bear all her grief and she only wanted a man who truly sincerely loved her. Seeing that the daughter-in-law was sad, the father-in-law could only gesture to smile. Then when Ling woke up from his sleep he suddenly heard the sound of a baby crying and immediately carried the baby. It turned out that it was all just a dream. When it started to rain, Ling wondered why the in-laws did not respond to her call. So Ling also realized that her father-in-law had died. The event deeply shook Ling's feelings. A few days later, Ling returned to teaching as usual. After finishing teaching, Ling as usual drove Wylan home to the apartment. Arriving in front of the apartment, Wylan suddenly let out blood from his nose. Ling, who was worried about the student's condition, took the initiative to escort him to the apartment. And it was there that an indecent act took place which a teacher and his student should not have done. Since that incident, Wylan has been very ambitious to get the love of his teacher. Every day, he waited for Ling in his office, and make other teachers began to suspect the relationship between the two of them. Feeling uncomfortable with Wylan who was always following him, Ling rebuked him harshly, saying that everything that happened yesterday was just a misunderstanding. On the way, Wylan Yang was still disappointed by the incident earlier suddenly forcing out of the car so that Ling lost concentration and crashed into another car. Disappointed that his love was rejected, Wylan immediately left his teacher. The next day, Ling went to school by bus. Suddenly Wylan appeared before him and apologized for yesterday's incident. At school, Wylan smiled to herself looking at Ling's photo, which was secretly taken from his cell phone. Suddenly his ignorant friend snatched Wylan's mobile phone. Until the secret is revealed. As a result of the incident Wylan called the principal and asked why the photos could be on his cell phone. But Wylan could only remain silent. After that the headmaster called Master Ling and showed him the photos taken by Wylan. Because of this, Ling was fired from the school. After that Ling and Wylan went home together. In the car, Wylan was eager to hug his teacher. However Ling refused by turning his face. A few moments later it rained and Wylan directly got out of the car. Ling also followed him. In the end, they hugged each other. And that was the last time they met. Meanwhile Ling and Andrew finally officially divorced after being married for 8 years. A few days later, Ling who was still curious again tried to do a pregnancy test. And in the end Ling is now positively pregnant. After waiting so long, at the end of the film, Ling returns to his hometown in Malaysia, and the film is finished.